Hello, hello. It's Brittany. <laughs> so we're talking today about Cassia. Cassia has been a best friend of mine the last couple months just because um, that time of year, like, it's just like a cinnamon taste and stuff. So it's been um, in my pancakes, it's been in my French toast, my trim shakes. I love, love, love it in my trim shakes. It's so tasty. Just one drop goes a long way. Sometimes I mix wild orange with it too. It's so tasty. I love it. So the emotional benefits from cassia, um, the oil is called the oil of self-assurance. Cassia brings a gladness and courage to the heart and soul and is also a wonderful remedy for a shy and timid. Um, it helps to it helps those who try and um, hide and um, hold back what they need to say or want to say. Um, with a person who avoids being the center of attention, Cassia can help restore their confidence. Similar to cinnamon, Cassia dis dispels fear and replaces it with self-assurance. Um, it challenges us to and it challenges individuals to try even when they are afraid of making mistakes. Um, Cassia aids those who feel foolish by helping them see their own brilliance as well. It supports the soul in seeing its own value and potential. And Cassia assists individuals in discovering their innate gifts and talents. It invites them to let their light shine and live from their true self. Negative emotions that Cassia helps with is um, if you're feeling embarrassed, hiding, fearful, humili humiliated, um, insecure, judged, shy, or worthless. Positive properties that Cassia likes, uh, brings is um, courageous, self-assured, unashamed, confident, valued, authentic. Companion oils, they mix really, really well with um, spearmint, clove, Roman chamomile, and litsia. Um, suggested uses, inhale directly from the bottle. You can diffuse it. You can apply it topically. Uh, definitely dilute though because it does have like um, more of a hot oil sensation so it like might make your skin really sensitive if you put it up on just completely neat, just the oil. So mix it with like coconut oil or um, almond oil, an oil that you have. Um, and then on top of that, if you take one to two drops internally, it helps to promote cardiovascular system function. Um, I like to mix it with MCT oil. And this particular brand, Essentially Bliss, is absolutely phenomenal. Like, you can drink this, most coconut oils. Um, it's not recommended to take it internally. Um, it's just it's basically just for your skin. Um, hi Nicole, how are you? So if you want to use Cassia internally, you don't have the veggie caps that I talk about a lot. Um, these veggie caps, uh, they're just empty, empty capsules. You can put a drop or two. If you don't have that, it's very, this Cassia is very good in coffee. Um, especially if you mix it with the MCT oil. This MCT oil, it helps me, um, metabolism, metabolism support, natural energy, skin moisturizer, carrier oil. Um, it's odorless and flavor, flavorless. So it's, the brand is called Essentially Bliss and you can get it off Amazon. Um, very reputable company, company, awesome company. Um, so if you take this internally, it helps to promote cardiovascular system function. You can take it in the veggie capsule to maintain cardiovascular health. It may promote some um, healthy digestion. Also, um, healthy immune system and function. It's a warming and uplifting aroma. I love, love, love to diffuse this. Um, I like to diffuse it, like I said, with wild orange. Um, but it also is very good with, like... Um, Roman chamomile. That would be really awesome at the end of the night to just wind down. Um, it can be used for cooking as either a placement for cinnamon in pies, breads, or by itself in myriads of 
entrees and desserts. Like I said, I use it for my French toast when I make French toast pancakes. If it's like a cinnamon based pancake that I'm looking for. Um, also, I put it in my sweet potato casserole this year. I put it with um, sweet potatoes and pecans and brown sugar. It was so, so good. Um, my mother-in-law just loved it so much. And so did I. I loved it. It was really good. Um, it can be used in breads or by itself. Um, diffuse it for feeling of arousal as well. It has that cinnamon in it and that's um, very, very good for arousal. And then it blends well with citrus oils and um, Siberian fur as well. Oh, that would be really good. Diffuser. Um, diffuse during the holidays with clove or ginger for, or during the fall or winters, winter for like a nice cinnamon smell. And then also you can take one to two drops in a veggie capsule for healthy immune system support. Combine one to two drops along with lemon in a glass of water to aid in digestion or ward off hunger cravings. I didn't realize that. Right now I'm drinking um, grapefruit to help with that because my sweet tooth is insane right now. So, um, also you can massage, use it for a massage. Um, for a nice warming sensation and then you can put a drop in your water when you're hiking to help support your um, hydration as well. So that is about cassia. Cassia is a great oil. Um, it smells like cinnamon. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like I could eat it. it. smells like cinnamon. Do not mix it with lemongrass. My mom spilled it all over my floor with lemongrass one time on accident and it did not smell good. So. But wild orange is really good with it. Especially, like I said, in my trim shake. I use it in there. I pulled this trim shake into my office because I need to order some more because I am almost out. All right, I'm going to hop off here and I'm going to pop back on to talk about what are we talking about today? Um, invigorating scrub. So, like facial scrub. All right, take care. Have a good day. Bye. Thanks for hopping on.